On February 1st, a military coup overthrew the government of Myanmar. Four months later, violence continues to rage on throughout the country. Now, aid to the church in need is stepping in to provide extra support to priests, religious sisters, catechists, and needy families in Myanmar. The church is emphasizing both by her appeals and still more by her work that as a small minority in this country, she will do everything possible to promote peace and the development of the nation. Sister Anne Rose Newtong is just one example of the church's struggle for peace in Myanmar. A month after the coup broke out, this photo of her kneeling before military forces begging for peace went viral on social media. Yet Sister Newtong says her courageous act was merely a way of defending those behind her. I only wanted to defend the people since they were in danger. I just wanted to save those people, the young people. For this reason I got on my knees to let the young people escape from the danger. While only 6% of Myanmar's population is Christian, places of worship including Christian churches have been targets of military attacks, making the value of prayer all the more important. Even though we live in times of persecution, prayer has been fundamental in my life. Prayer during the adoration of the Blessed Sacrament has given me this strength. It's from there that I get the strength to help others and to act in this way. Although Sister Noon Tong is shown alone before the military in the photo, she says that God was always with her amid the danger. The Holy Spirit led me to make this gesture. I thought that God was working through me to save these people. For this reason, I did it. Pope Francis has been one of the world's most outspoken global leaders on the crisis in Myanmar. In May, he dedicated a mass in St. Peter's Basilica to pray for peace in the country and encouraged Christians to promote peace in their own lives. Over 700 civilians have been killed by military forces in Myanmar since February, and over 4,000 are currently being detained.